What's up? Um, I haven't been live direct in a second. We've been working real hard, uh, staying productive, leading by example. I don't know if y'all noticed, but every week I've been giving y'all a new 22 minute television show, original programming. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna drop the second episode of Dress to Kill. I was gonna drop it today, but I remember I said Wednesday, so fuck it, I'll do Wednesday. We're gonna have screenings. So we're gonna do a, a screening via Zoom. So if y'all, anybody wanna come to the Zoom, uh, you gotta go to Dame Dash Studios uh, uh, DM and ask for Zoom instructions. Uh, oh, what's up, Hef? What's good? Harlem's in the building. You in Vegas, bro? Where you at? You know, jump on. My man Hef, we known him for a long time. Harlem in the building. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Request. I'll put you on. Let's do it. And um, you know, so my thing is, you know, I told you all this wasn't the one that's gonna go on for a while, and to stay productive, I've been making plans. I know exactly what I'm doing for the next three months. What's up, big bro? What's good, bro? How are you and his family? How everybody? Everybody good. We real good. Where you at? You in Vegas? Nah, I came to um, Scottsdale for the weekend. I'm on my way back, though. You in Arizona? Yeah. Oh, I respect it. What you doing out there? Just chilling? Yeah, a little resort. Chilled out for the weekend and shit like that. All right. You stay healthy and safe, right? You know that. Working out. Yo, what's up, man? I need to, I need to go over the movies, big bro. Well, I'm about to start a zombie flick in, uh, like in two weeks. What is, it, what is it based on? It's like um, it takes place in a strip club. And it's like a drug deal, and then it turns into a zombie movie. It's like, you know, I could tell you more, but it's dope. But we go. I, you know, if we wrote it. If we, if we wrote it. It's, it's your birthday? Yeah, if it's no. your birthday? Uh, I thought somebody, who's singing no, happy birthday? No, December. Uh-oh. They say um, it to you. But, <laughs> but, okay. Well, you know, it was my birthday about two weeks ago. But, um, yeah. but, um, but um, the way it got written was so that it wasn't too many people in the room at the same time. So it was written right. for this. And I got my own facility. So, you know, I'm just change, I'm just going to stay busy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on and come check you. So I definitely need a role in that. You know, I'm trying to get my my movie Bright Lights on, you know? All right. Well, you know, let everybody know where you're from, how we know each other, all that. So they know where oh, that's, the, that's the big bro, man. Damn, man. Harlem. I know that, man. And I just for a second, you know that. Shit. You know that. That's the big bro. All right. Everybody you know, chilling. Everybody chilling, man. Um, what was I about to say to you? I was about to ask you something. I got them shit you've been sending me too. They dope. Oh, okay, the little rock and roll. Shit and yeah, that. Them shit is dope. All right. Yeah. Well, as soon as it open back up, you know, I'm at the road. Yeah. That's yeah. a fact. I'm definitely going. You know, I'm supporting all the time, big bro. I just had to check in. I'm calling. Give I'm you calling out coming with me. I'm giving you champagne while you're here, man. Giving you Thank your you, champagne bro. while you're here, man. I appreciate you, it. You, you, you was one of the four, one of the, uh, they didn't want to give you your just do, but you know I, I know. No, I get my just do. Don't worry. You, you know, know I that. get my just do. You know that. It's, every it's, every it's, day, I, I, honestly, every day I get celebrated, bro. More than, more than the hate is more celebration. I don't really hear the hate. That's fact. You taught. I really don't. But, you know, as long as the people I fuck with are, 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 are like. You taught niggas. You told niggas how to get their own money and be their own bosses. And I'm going to always respect you for that. All right. I'm going to always back, respect back you for that. You're young, right? Yeah. <laughs> and niggas always have to be fresh. Niggas ain't yes. never not fresh. Yes, that's a fact. And keep some money on you. And keep some money on you. So at the end of the day, I'm going to always pay. I'm going to always give homage. Darren, Darren just checked in from the lynch mob. I see D-Rock. D-Rock. He, ain't, he ain't never tell. He did his time. They you know, this time. we gotta we gotta start giving our roses and our champagnes to people while they're here. You know what I'm saying? And not just because you're my big bro, but just it's just real. Shit, you know what I'm saying? We and this, this society is just fucked up today. So I'm giving you your champagne while you're here. You put on, you still putting on. You know, you missed the you pop tags every day. You know what I'm saying? You know I know I was there as a youngin. So I just want to give you your, your just do. You know what I'm saying, big bro? I appreciate you, bro. You know I love you all the time. So you and the family, I'm here. I'm definitely need a part in that movie. I'm going to come check you. I'm going to call you and let you get back to doing what you was doing. All right. My nigga, love is love. Love all the time. No doubt. You're ready. We staying productive. We're making sure we work out every day. 
I'm not going to front. We smoking every day. I can't. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But that's why we make sure we work out and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that challenge is still there. How to get money from the house challenge. You know, people still going outside. I'm looking at this motherfucking newspaper, and it sounds like it's still spiking. You know? Like, the niggas is dealing with it better. Like, the hospital, the people still getting sick. So I'm still going to be on complete quarantine. I'm still on my quarantine or living the way I've been living. You know what I mean? But also them tests, you know, you're starting to get them home tests. I think they're 250. If you really want some money, you got to do some business, man. Just get the test if it's for the money, you know? But stay safe. And also, if you notice, being outside, they're starting to be flagrant, man. I'm looking every time on Instagram, seeing people getting beat up. And they feel like they don't care that the cameras are on or nothing. They know the cameras are on. They're still doing it. So it's like if you're outside, you're going to be targeted, I think, um, because you're only outside probably to the police to be trying to get some money or do something you're not supposed to be doing. So I suggest everybody be aware of that. If it ain't worth it, man, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but everybody, you know, like I said, I got my own Netflix, my own streaming service, all original programming, all funded by me. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing what everyone, everyone knows what a fund is doing, but more and better. And, you know, I'm doing it on my own and I'm just showing y'all, y'all can do it on your own. And this ain't a network full of bubblegum shit. It's full of focus. It's things that are going to make you better. The only purpose of being on this live is to make yourself better. If you can't get something from this live, get off this live. You know? It's all about evolution. It's about loving others before you love yourself. I'm going to say it over and over again until people get it, you know, and fuck all these distractions. Like, you know, first you got to be able to take care of yourself, your family. And from there, as an example, then you can go take care of other people. But you can't be doing so much complaining if your house ain't in order, you know, and you can't be worried about what everybody else is doing if your shit ain't right. Even if your it is right, you really won't be worrying about what everybody else is doing, you know? And uh, um, I just feel like, you know, I, I, I want everybody to, to see what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Regardless of what people say or whatever, if your work is good, they're going to take it. They, they're going to buy it, you know? So everybody make sure your work is good. And you got to worry about people's opinion of you. All that matters is their opinion of your work, the stuff they got to buy. That's all that matters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when's the last time you saw a, a drug addict worried about if they like the drug dealer? If his drugs is good, whether they like him or not, they buy him. They're going to line up. They're going to listen. If you want to see what my conversations are like with people I respect, people that I consider equals, that I think you can learn from, boss talk. You know, if you want to see about the history of what I was doing musically, you got Blue Rock. Go to Blue Rock, Rock Files, you can see all that there. You want to see the music I'm doing now? Blue Rock. You know, you want to see Culture Vultures, Hip Hop Motivation? It's there. All of it. You know? So, this is what I've done, the catalog that I'm building and that I've built, continue to build. And, you know, I'm going to keep putting out that work. It's going to get better. It's going to get more consistent. My thing is I got to come out of this stronger than before it started. And so far I have. Things are better than they were for me, you know. And that's why every day I have to appreciate the fact that I'm healthy because a lot of people are not in this moment. A lot of people wish that they were. And if they had the opportunity to breathe again, they would do everything. So I don't wait to get sick to appreciate my life. I appreciate it when I'm healthy. You got to appreciate your life while you're healthy. Don't wait for something bad to happen to see how good your life is. And that's what everybody does. You know, you be tight and crying over dumbass problems until something real happened. And then you forget about all that stupid dumb shit. Actually, you wish that was your only problem again. You wish life was like that. I've been through tragedies. I know how they feel. I don't want them. And in between that, I'm appreciate that I'm not going through that. So that's why I get up every day. And I enjoy life to the fullest every single day. I don't give a fuck what somebody's saying. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know, some people, they don't go through no real, no hell of fire until they get older. And on some levels, that's a shame because they don't know what real pain is. They don't know that they're living a great life until they're older. 
I guess I've been lucky to feel pain young. So that as I'm older, I'm like, yo, it ain't feel like that. So I'm all right. That shit I felt when I was young, when my mother died, when my girl died, when my uncle died, all that shit. When, when, you know, when I thought I was going to die because I, I didn't know I had diabetes. This is not that. So I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I bet you anybody that's did a bid is not even worried about this motherfucking quarantine. They're like, good. Because niggas that are in jail, they're quarantined every fucking day under way worse circumstances. You know what I mean? So this is nothing. You know? I'm appreciating that this is the worst that I'm going through. I ain't going to be depressed over this. Shit. This is the worst that I got to sit in the house. That's not the worst thing in the world. You know, it's different, but it's not the worst. People think because things aren't the same that it's fucked up. It just means that you have the opportunity to do something different and it might be better. So you got to figure out the light. When can look at that as the dark is presented as dark, but the shit is really light. You got to go through some kind of uncomfortable or some kind of change or some kind of pain for shit to get better. And people just don't get that part of life. You know what I'm saying? So again, you come to this, this is to get strength. Life is a lesson. It's a school. Every single day is a test. It's never meant to be easy. Every day, every single person is challenged. Every day. Some people ignore it. Some people go and get dull and get drugged up. Some people want to escape and just play video games. Some people just want to talk shit about people, you know? But what I do is I confront my tests and I make sure I pass them so I can have some better tests. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to get presented the same bum-ass tests all the time? You know, who wants to go through the same problems over and over again? It makes no sense. So I might have a problem, I fix it. I'm going to have a brand new problem the next time. It won't be the same problem, you know? We're all here to evolve our souls. And the test is how much you have the ability to love. That's the test, you know? And a lot of people think it's about self-preservation, loving themselves and only themselves. And that's where you'd be dead wrong, you know? That's where you'd be dead wrong. That's when you'd be alone. Most of these people that are selfish are alone right now. Those are the ones that are like, how come nobody's loving me? Because you don't love nobody. I don't understand people that think they deserve to be loved if they don't give any. You know? They don't make no motherfucking sense to me. Nigga, to love you all day long. You don't give them an ounce of love. You still think you deserve to be loved. Now think about this. Who the fuck is the last person you gave love to? When the last time you did somebody for, did something for somebody other than yourself? And now think about how much you expect somebody to do something for you or how mad you are that they didn't do something for you. If you're feeling this way, get your life together. You know what I'm saying? Period. If you want another amazing video with the one and only Dame Dash, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.